I'm going to apologise for the uneven lighting as it's quite difficult with the um, not professional lights. But what I need to talk to you about is this wonderful piece of furniture behind me. It's an 18th century mahogany linen press and it's made around 1760 of the Chippendale period. So let's start at the top first of all and showing you the detailing of this uh, cornice. It is truly magnificent. Now, it's so sharp. As I run my hands along or my finger along here, it's still so sharp you could almost cut your fingers on. So you've got this very fine mouldings, left, you know, top and bottom. You have this caveat part of the cornice. And below that, we have what we call blind fretwork. All these um, ideas are recorded in Thomas Chippendale's uh, book, The Gentleman's Director. And so you'll see this fine um, fretwork design. Now, the two doors are, again, veneered. These are veneered, where this is solid. These are veneered, and what they've done, they've cross-grained the veneer, and then in the centre, they've put this lovely flamed piece of mahogany. In left and right in the corners and top and bottom, you have this lovely hand-carved section here with S-scrolls and C-scrolls. The detailing is absolutely amazing. And then it's held together what we call by an escutcheon-shaped moulding. And this moulding is all in uh, what we call ribbon moulding. It's like garlands of ribbons and just uh, but beautifully, beautifully carved. Really, really good. This section, this is the escutcheons, and because of this period, this magic period, it has a, Chinese, a strong Chinese influence. So when we look at the escutcheon here, we see a Chinese uh, pagoda, trellis work, and, you know, at the time tea was fashionable, Chinese things were the height of fashion. So it's just brought in here in a very subtle way. I'm going to undo the cupboard. And inside we have these four trays. The trays are made out of oak, but they're faced, all of them are faced in cedar wood. And cedar wood, the reason why they did that, because it was a good repellent for moths. And so when the lady of the house, or the housekeeper I should say, was taking the linen out of the linen press, um, first of all, she, as she would open it up, she would have this wonderful smell of cedar wood. It's a glorious smell. And, and as I say, it keeps all the insects away. So inside the um, doors themselves, again, they are veneered in one piece. That is lovely. On the lower section, we have on this moulding here, again, beautifully carved. Now, on most linen presses, you don't see this moulding like this. It's just detail, detail, detail. Absolutely fantastic. Below that moulding, we have three long graduated drawers with gilt brass handles. Again, all oak lined. Beautiful. Now, the drawer fronts, as you see, are veneered, but it's known as book match veneered. And so they literally go up and down. And it's done in a way, because it's in four sections. One, two, three, four. Four sections of veneer. So the cabinet maker has chosen the best veneers to have this um, undulating pattern of the, uh, of the flaming of the mahogany. And then when we come down to the feet, now very few people will be down this low, but look how fine these feet are. You've got this wonderful big gadrooning, and on the end of these big lobs here, you've got these lovely little hairbells. Now that isn't detail, I don't know what is. Beautiful sea scrolls, and then in this concave part, um, account the sleeves. Isn't that fantastic? Now, you will see lots of linen presses, but you won't see many linen presses 
with this amount of intricate detail. Right? Detailing on the feet, detailing on the handles, detailing here, detailing on the doors, detailing here. This has a culmination of so many great features and that's what I want to share with you of knowing what to look for when you're buying fine 18th century English furniture.